SR-71. Blackbird, the sky's unkillable legend. When enemies dared to look up, America didn't hide. We built a machine that laughed at physics. Meet the SR-71 Blackbird, the ghost that ruled the heavens and left missiles in its dust. Born in the 1960s, the Blackbird wasn't just a plane, it was American defiance made metal. Mach 3 speed, 2,200 miles per hour, it was so savage, it outran its own bullets. It could fly up to 85,000 feet altitude. So high, pilots glimpsed the curve of Earth. And with its titanium skin, we forged a dragon that ate fire for breakfast. The Soviets tried to copy it, but their MiGs were just flying coffins. The real Blackbird didn't just fly, it humiliated gravity. 4,000 missiles fired, zero hits. North Korea launched everything, SA-2s, curses, tantrums. The pilot, he throttled up and turned their defenses into a joke. Soviet radars screamed, all they saw was a shadow, and then nothing. Leaking fuel on the ground, a flex, because in the sky, this beast didn't need efficiency. It had raw American overkill. Retired in 99, not because it was beaten, because nothing could catch it. China's drones, Russia's stealth, pathetic imitations. The Blackbird's DNA lives in every US spy satellite, every Reaper drone. Why? We don't retire legends, we weaponize them. The Blackbird proved it. America doesn't just lead, we rewrite the rules. We don't fear the future, we drag it here. While rivals scavenge our scraps, we're building machines that'll make the SR-71 look quaint. Because innovation, it's not a hobby, it's our birthright. If you salute the Eagle's cry, smash that like button and subscribe. Because America's next Sky Titan, it'll move faster than your patriotism.